Hi there, this is my lot, and uh, yeah, Merry Christmas everybody. Um, I've recently been splurging on eBay, I've bought myself a few job lots, and uh, I've come across a, a, a few half-decent lots. Um, this was in a job lot, uh, not sure if it's the real deal or whether it's a, a fake or what, it was quite easy to pick. Um, so I've left it picked open, I'm going to gut it and I'm going to make a key for it. But it's a an Avis uh, 83 closed shackle uh, 55mm padlock. It doesn't have rock written on it. Um, well that's the, the Abus, uh, Abus rock. So I'm not sure what the difference is between the two. Um, that one was a lot easier to pick right enough. What else? Uh, there was a, a Yale, a nice uh, old bronze Yale. I do like these looks, so I was happy to get that. Um, this that I managed to receive, uh, it's, an, it's a vintage Ruko. I managed to, with the help of uh, Rete, Re, Reim and Stig from Denmark, um, I managed to get one of these. It's a a vintage Ruko with hourglass spools. So I, I bought this as a wee birthday treat for myself last month and it finally managed to, to get out of customs and uh, arrive today. So uh, thank you for that, guys. That was uh, super cool he is. And uh, yeah, I'll be in touch at some point in the future and uh, I'll hopefully ask you to find me a, an Asa or Ruko with the... Uh, sleeved core and gins which would be a, a nice addition to my wee collection of uh, Asa Ruko locks um, what else a master lock 15D 2.5 inch uh, master lock a master lock uh, it's number 17 I should have a number 19 as well but it hasn't arrived yet I'll put that down there. You'll see those again when I get the number 19 and I'll take a look at all three of them. An era big six new in box. I picked that up for for less than half price of what new ones normally go for. So I was quite quite happy about that. There we go. Um Vero Panzer shutter lock. It's missing the tailpiece here that that you pull to open it, but uh, we can we can open it from the center there since it's not locked anything up. Now I've picked one of these before on the channel, uh, and they are seven pin. A little puck lock, a little disc lock, sorry. And uh, it doesn't say what brand, so it's just unbranded. Um, it had a, a key with a sort of similar uh, design to the Abus um, discus padlock, but uh, I don't think it is. I think it's a copy. I've got an Abus 6560 with a... <laughs> A slightly dangerous projectile shackle. <laughs> um, oh, a Walsall Ace. Unfortunately, it didn't have a key. So uh, at some point, I'm going to have to try and make a key for it. But yeah, it's really... I don't know if it's got, I'm going to be able to... It it blocks the uh, the shackle hole pretty well so that you can't you can't read the levers. I'll give it a go though. We'll see. Um, this Squire Stronghold, <sighs> unfortunately, no key, and it is a rather scary looking dumple lock, and I don't know whether it's seized. But I've tried to tension it and pick it, and I've just not been able to uh, 
Uh, I've just not been able to find anything that, that's binding properly. So, I know, I know Mauer, I think, and Squire. I think sometimes these squires are found with Mauer uh, dimple locks, so I'm thinking it might be that. And uh, looking at it here, I don't know, is it? I'm seeing pins at the top and I'm seeing thin pins sticking up from the bottom. So, yeah, I'm not sure what's going on in there. It's uh, rather complicated, but if I ever get into it, I'll hopefully be able to drop this out and change the core for something that's uh, a little bit easier to pick. Mind you saying that, I'll have to pick it to, to be able to do that, so, well, you know, I'll change it out for something with a key anyway. Uh, just an unbranded, sort of 40 millimeter. Um, there we go. Jack. Fairly sort of cheap looking Chinese style padlock with a mm, shimmable front shimmable by the look of it. Uh, the unbranded one doesn't look as if it's front shimmable, no. Uh, Timpsons shimmable. So you could use a shim at the front here to open that. Not a good advert for Timpsons, a company that uh, cuts keys and things like that. Uh, an unkeyed Yale Shame that it doesn't have a key, but yeah. And another unkeyed lock, the, the Tessie closed shackle. Strange one to pick this. Um I have I have picked most of these apart from like the likes of likes of that. Um but this one is a strange one to pick. I'll feature it at some point. I was hoping to be able to make a key for it. Um, and I did begin to try and uh, impression a key. So I've never tried to impression a, a, a key for a lock before, so that'll be my first. I'll give it a go. We'll see how I get on. Um, what else? Yeah. Sometimes you buy something and end up with uh, huge egrets. Buyer's remorse and whatnot. Strange one, this seven pin, but front shimmable. Here's the key, and not not exactly an easy pick. Very straight, dead, dead core. I'm not sure if it did have a spring that's just corroded away to nothing, but uh, yeah, it still still operates. It's just not sprung anymore. And a whole lot of corrosion down in here, which I think may may have once upon a time been a been a spring. A Corbin kick cylinder. I've not picked this one yet. There's the the bidding, and it's got a fairly nasty keyway, so I will work on that. Uh, just a generic weatherproof padlock based on a master lock. Don't know whether it is. I don't think it's a master lock, but uh, there we go. Flow gas. All brass flow gas uh, padlock. Uh, quite yeah, decent enough. And all brass, so hey, you got to love it couple of Squire 660s. I actually got three of these. Uh, all three were cheaper than you could normally get one, so I was quite happy with that. All original packaging. Um, I've sent one off to, to Jack Fox, along with the, the, the little pick set I made for him. Um, and last of all, I think, so anyway, I think one or two other smaller locks. Um, but yeah, this uh, bicycle lock, which uh, I'm going to have to try and decipher the, the code for. Um, I 
think I should be able to, to do it just by looking in there. Yeah, so it does have false gates. I, I am seeing false gates there. But because we can look in and see what... There we go, that looks like it. 6929. Oh, I've missed it there. 6929. That, no, six. Ah, I'll keep moving it. Nine. There we go. Six nine three nine. And I kind of wrestle it without touching the numbers. Yeah, so six nine three nine. Oh no, that's the false gate, so keep going. There we go. 1939. 1939. Yes, 1939. There we go. Oh, there we go. Big bicycle lock. Um, there we are. So, yeah, lots of, lots of fun to play with uh, over the holiday season. There's uh, one or two other things I got as well, but I'm going to make a, a separate video for, for that. And uh, yeah, so the lovely old uh, classic Ruko hourglass spools. I'm quite looking forward to giving that a pick. And uh, yeah, so just want to say, absolutely fantastic. I've, I've really, really loved being in this uh, Locksport community for the last year. And uh, yeah, it's been great dealing with everybody and I've had a lot of fantastic interactions with the community and just, yeah, Merry Christmas to everybody. Uh, thanks for thanks for watching, commenting, liking. Um, you've all been great. I'll see you soon. Cheers, everyone.